uh, the editor of Slugger to McFeelty today. Mick, your reaction to what Van Morrison is doing in the middle of a, a public health deba- uh, crisis, he is articulating what some people are thinking. Yeah, what some people are thinking, and more importantly, what some people are feeling. But to be honest, I preferred it when Van was singing about cleaning windows when he was still one of us. I mean, these days, you know, he's a great artist, but he owns five or six houses. He's a millionaire. He's clearly telling us as well as what he feels that he doesn't feel like he's in, in it with the rest of us. And, well, you know, that's not that's, true. You could argue, you could argue that actually he feels he's in it with lots of people who you know they have nothing to do with his life or his life circumstances, but they feel restricted and they feel enslaved. Indeed, and that comes back to feeling, and it comes to expression, and an artist has got to express. But you know, an artist has also got to express something valuable about human experience. And just because you feel frustrated, and no doubt, performing artists all over the world are now very frustrated because they can't get in touch with their their live audiences. But that doesn't alter the reality of this thing, that it's not going to go away just because you sing a song about it. You know, and I don't think we should denigrate Van too much, but we shouldn't take him too seriously either because... Well, the head of press at the Department of Health is calling him publicly an arse. <laughs> David Gordon. Well, you know... Uh, uh, he might say that. I couldn't possibly comment. You know, I'm a great fan of, of uh, Van's early work. And as I say, cleaning windows. I used to be a, cleaning, a window cleaner myself back in school days uh, on a Saturday. So I, I get where that's all coming from. But, you know, at the end of the day, there's a serious health threat here. And it's not only serious. There's Glenn and others have said on your program. You know, the elderly may be on the, um, the, the front line, the health front line. But, you know, our businesses, and particularly our young people, as, as Richard Ramsey, the chief economist of Ulster Bank, said last week, it's them that, that are on the front line. And those, you know, at the end of the day, when you're 70 plus or nearly 75 or maybe just gone past 75, these are not things that necessarily you think about or you concern yourself about. But it's absolutely clear to me that it's collective action that flattened the curve earlier in the year. We're now going into a flu season, which is going to complicate the COVID season. Um, and it's absolutely... And, and the partial lockdown is a way of really just managing that and, risk. But it cannot be managed top-down. It's got to go bottom-up. And to say that Van's intervention here was deeply unhelpful uh, by one of Ulster's greatest expressive individuals, well, we aren't just all individuals in this crisis. We have to do it together. Mick, thank you very much indeed.